to my channel. I have created an eye look for you today using my current favourite, favourite, favourite palette. This is the Huda Beauty palette. I believe it's the new nude palette. So she had one before and she's just re done it. Well not just, I'm a bit late to the party, this is actually like quite old now. I just got it and I really 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 love it. I just used this palette on my eye look today. This palette is so versatile, you can literally create so many beautiful looks. There are so many colours in there that I absolutely love. So I'm going to create a few eye looks for you using this palette and this is the first one of the series. So this is a slightly more shimmery kind of soft, it's not too dramatic, but it is more of like a shimmery eye look. I'm going to create um, a nude look, which is what I've been wearing loads of recently, and when I say nude I mean matte. Then I'll create a more dramatic purple look as well, which as well I've been wearing loads of. I've just been literally, since I've bought this palette, I've neglected all my other palettes and I have just been using this one. It's so nice. I really hope you like the look and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for the next few tutorials featuring the same palette. Yeah, and let's jump right into it. So I'm back. I feel like it's been ages since I filmed. Oh, and yes, it has. So yeah. I'm super excited to be back and filming today. It has honestly been ages. I don't know why. I just, let's get into it. Just put some jewellery on. By the way, um, an update from me. So since I have last filmed, I got a new makeup bag. I've upgraded a bit, so I've gone from this kind of size to this kind of size. I'm joking. No, I... Well, I'm not joking. That's my new makeup bag. <laughs> so I'm going to do my face first just because I tend to like to do my face first, even though I know it's so much better if you do do your eyes first. Um, so I'm going to start first of all with my NARS foundation, and this is in the shade Mont Blanc. I recently just had to get a new one of these because, hmm, because I've used up my old one. I'm actually just going to prime my face. Um, why not? So I'm going to use my... It's really filthy, but it's my Urban Decay... Um, optical Illusion Complexion Primer, so it's just this one. And by the way, actually, since I have last film, I'm actually getting massive interest into skincare because I feel like skincare can make or break your whole makeup. And I'll do a video separately on this, but genuinely, I feel like why spend ages doing your makeup if the base underneath your makeup doesn't look good? Because I don't also like to cake it on and wear so much so you can't actually see the skin. I like to be able to see the skin a tiny bit. So you need to make sure your skin is healthy. Um, so I've invested in some retinoids and I'm going to start using those and I will be filming it as well so you can see my honest opinion of those. I'm hoping that it decreases my pores more than anything else but the one I got as well helps with anti-aging because Let's face it, I'm 27 now, and I need to start thinking about wrinkles. You, oh, oh, oh. There's nothing better than sitting down with a cup of tea and doing makeup. There are a few things, like being on a beach somewhere, but not many. Um, and to blend this in, I'm going to, or to apply and then blend in my foundation, I'm going to use my Sigma Tapered F86 Booty Brush. My skin is really dry at the moment, so that's also why I've decided to take a bit more care and attention into my skincare routine and also just change it up. I don't know what's going on, I'm drinking loads of water, when I say loads, like 2-3 to three litres a day, that is quite a lot, but it's so, so dry, to the point where I bought a new foundation, which is the Huda Beauty foundation, which is this one, and I literally can't use it. <laughs> I use it like once or twice and as I'm applying it, it, my skin is like falling off, it's like drying out and falling off, so that was annoying. <laughs> Next I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape um, Concealer and this is in the shade Fair Beige. It's kind of annoying in the UK, I don't think there's a physical place where you can actually buy these concealers, so I ended up buying three or four. And one, this one's like quite light, but this one is actually like way too dark, which is kind of annoying because for some reason I managed to buy two in this darker colour. So I'm going to use the shade Fair Beige. 
I'm actually like fairly new to using Tarte Shape Tape, probably because you can't actually buy it in the UK. And it honestly is so, so good. It goes so far and touches so many. It goes such a long way and it's really, really good coverage. So just using my Morphe sponge to bend this in, which is actually slightly damp as well. I should let you know. I actually filmed this video over Easter because it was like my Easter makeup look. Um, but the footage was just awful so I deleted it and I'm refilming it now. <laughs> my hair was awful and I just looked a mess. You can thank me later. Oh sorry if you can hear my washing machine but you know, girls gotta clean the clothes. I also really want to start getting into um, cream based bronzers and contouring because I feel like in the summer powders can start looking a bit funny if you're a bit like warm and sweaty. I like to not go crazy with the um, concealer and foundation. Um, I don't like completely full coverage. I like you to still be able to see my skin. And like with the concealer as well, I like to mainly keep it on this like under the eye section rather than bring it across the whole face. Especially for a daytime look because I just think you can see it a bit and I'd rather that you could actually see my skin a bit instead. But yeah, this concealer is honestly amazing and I love it. It literally does look great. It's really brightening. It's like the perfect combination between good coverage but not like cakey, really easy to work with, sits on the skin well, I just really 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 love it. So next I'm going to go in with my loose setting translucent powder and this is my Laura Mercier and I'm just going to set my concealer. Prioritising the concealer underneath my eye and then whatever's left on my sponge just dabbing it over the other places where I concealed. I'm going to use my NARS concealer to prep and prime my eyelids just because I feel like it's a little bit thinner and just better for a base for my eyes. Um, and this is in the shade Light 2. And to blend it in, I'm going to use my Synthetic Head Brush by MAC, and this is the 252. And just before I've set it, because this concealer obviously does crease a little bit, I'm just going to keep looking down while I blend out my other eye, just to keep the surface smooth before I go in with the powder to set it. I actually haven't used a brush to set my eyelid concealer in ages and I love it. I'm going to do this more often and it's just really like gentle on the eyelids. To set that I'm going to use this um, Sigma F35 tapered brush. Not too much but just to make sure the surface of the eyelid is ready for the powders we're about to go in with. Back. I'm going to leave my face there for now and come back to it. So I'm going to move on to the eyes. And I am so, 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 so excited to use this palette. I got it recently and I am obsessed with it. I have so many palettes at this point and like honestly this one is my absolute favourite. I can't get enough. The colours are so, so, so cute. Firstly the packaging is honestly so nice. I love these like lilac-y pastel purple tones. I think they are so cute. When you open it up you have this little thing which is cute but the mirror is so big. It's so good. It's such a like heavy duty sturdy palette. That's how it feels anyway. And honestly, these colours are so cute. But I literally love, love, love this palette, which is actually why I was so happy to just scrap the last video and just film the whole thing again, because I love just playing with this palette. It literally is so nice to create. It's so easy to create such nice eye looks and such a wide variation of looks as well. You can go for, like, just, you know, a cool and cute, light like, purple, or any eye you can do. But these colours, you can go for more than these eyes. The possibilities are endless and it's so easy to work with as well. They're so blendable and just so, so, so cute. So, I'm not going to use this palette today. I'm going to use this palette today, obviously. I'm going to start off with this dude right here. And this is called Play. I don't even think I've actually cleaned my brushes. So, yeah. When I say I don't think I have, I mean I know I haven't cleaned my brushes. Okay, so I am not kidding, I just filmed the entire eye look and then realised my camera had decided to turn off. So I've just taken it off. I've taken off my eye makeup and I'm starting again. That's how much I love this palette. 
going to go in first of all with my JH33 and I'm going to pick up the shade Play which is this really cute nudie peachy colour and I'm just going to apply this basically to my brow bone in small circular motions. I also just like to use the actual mirror on this palette because it's really really nice and really big. So I tend to use this when I use this palette. I also like to do both eyes at the same time typically just to make sure that they're like exactly the same. I feel like that's the easiest way. I literally love this palette. Making sure that it's over here on the brow bone as well because that's just going to make your eyes look much bigger and wider and kind of pulling the eye taut as well. I'm going to kind of do the lower lash line at the same time I think um, so I'm just going to go in with the same brush and with this colour on my lower lash line. And I didn't do this a second ago when I just filmed this eye look a minute ago. <laughs> but I feel like, I don't know, I just fancy doing it. And I feel like it might mean that the you can kind of see the look come together more. Next I'm going to swap to my JH32. So it's a slightly bigger version of the JH33. And I just feel like it's going to make the um, next tone a bit more like um, kind of blown out and less precise. And I'm going to go in with the shade Lace. I'm putting this one kind of more in the crease, so slightly below that peachy shade. And again, just in small circular motions. I literally, this is like probably my favourite colour in the whole palette. I think this colour is so, so cute. And every time I've worn it, my friends have said, what is that purple shade you're using on your eye? It's so nice. And it is so nice. Again, doing both eyes at the same time, just because I want them to be exactly the same. And I feel like if I do them together, there's more chance that they'll actually look the same. So um, again, it's kind of a mixture between windshield motions and then like small circles to put this colour down. And I like to make sure it's fully in the inner corner as well. I wouldn't do this for darker tones, but because this tone is really light, until I actually move to the darker ones, I want to make sure that I have this colour right in this inner section because it's just going to make the whole eye look a lot bigger and a lot brighter and wider and I also just love the way it looks not because it like makes your eye look bigger or whatever but I just think having this light colour or these two light colours like fully blown out across the whole eye looks so so cute and then like later when it comes to the darker tones to add more dimension, I'll keep those in very precise places, like just the outer part of the eye. So just making sure it's all the way across the eye, fully blown out. And then I'm going to go back in with the brush I used first of all, just to make sure, with a tiny bit of the colour as well, just to make sure that you can still see that peachy tone on the outer section. I don't want to lose that because I do think it's a really cute colour as well. Next I'm going to go in with the shimmer tone. It's honestly so hard to choose between all of these beautiful, beautiful glitters and shimmers. I'm going to go in with the colour or the shade or the tone called Charmed. It's like a really, really, really cute colour. I also really like this one as well. I'm not sure if I've used those ones yet but I will film more eye looks with this palette because it's literally my favourite palette and I love it and you can create so, so many beautiful looks. So hopefully that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, for this look today I'm going to go in with the tone called Charmed and I'm going to use my finger because I genuinely feel like you get the most out of the shades 
when you use your finger to apply the shimmer tones and I also feel like it doesn't ruin the shimmers because if you were to go in with a brush like this sort of one and either wet it with water or spray it with some Fix Plus however you use it and then go into the shimmer and then after a while if you keep doing that I feel like the shimmer forms this kind of like film on the top of like it's not sticky or slime really but kind of kind of and it's like really hard then to get some good um, colour out of the shimmer because you've messed around with it so much with the waters. And first of all, I'm just going to go back in with the old trusted um, F35 and some powder just to make sure because using some shimmers, even with your finger, you can have full down and I just want to be able to wipe it away even on the nose as well because I'm going to be going right in the corner with it. And then I'm only going to put this on the inner part of both eyes. I'm going to use my middle finger to apply it first of all and then I'm probably going to swap to my pinky to get like right in in the inner section and you'll see when I'm doing it I'm looking like down and in the opposite direction for each inner corner just because you can get closer in. I mean look, look how well it goes on, just one touch and it's fully, fully on the eye. Again, I'm just going to kind of do them both at the same time. And I like to first of all place the shimmer really close to the lash line because that's where I want it to be most intense. And I'm kind of pressing it on rather than like rubbing it. And then as I press more and more and then it gets off my finger more and more, kind of blend it upwards. But I don't want it to be super intense up there. Now I'm going to swap to my pinky and make sure it's really tight in this um, bit. It's just going to wipe away the full down because it's actually all over my face. And then going back in with the brush I used for the purple, not applying anymore, but just to kind of blend this all together. Next I'm going to go in with some much darker tones. Yeah, I'm going to keep this look more nude and save these more purpley tones for a different eye look because they are super cute. But I'm going to go in with a mixture of these two on the outer part of the eye. So these are called Tease and Raw. So I'm literally going to go into both and then tap off. And then just apply this right back here. Just for a bit of dimension, I don't want this look to be super dark, but I am just going to apply a little bit of dimension here. So just really close to the lash line and then working up a bit in the crease. And I like to keep the shadows a bit up rather than like drooping down, so it's going to make the eye look more lifted. So right back here on the lash line. Um, if you can hear that, that's my washing machine. And then going back in with the brush I used for the peachy colour in the very beginning, not with any extra colour on it, just to diffuse these edges back here. Touch. It's kind of like just keeping on going between those two things, so adding a little bit more here and then diffusing the edges if we need to. So I'm happy with that for now. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to use this much smaller brush, and this is the JH40. I'm going to first of all go in with a bit more of this peachy shade, and then straight over the top with this lace colour, just as we did on the top. And I'm going to put these along the whole of the lower lash line. So I've dried that colour a bit lower as well, which is quite cute. And then I'm going to go in with these two shades, again, that I used on the top. But I'm just going to keep this on the outer part of the eye and kind of connect the top and the bottom uh, lash lines together. Next, to add a tiny bit of definition to the lash line, I'm going to use this JH43, which is a very small and precise brush. And I'm going to go back into the shade Tease, which was the slightly more purple of the two. And I'm just going to put this right on the lower lash line, on the outer part. 
Next, I'm going to glue on my mini lashes, and these are in the shade Doa, and I'll be right back. So there you have the finished look. We got there in the end. I threw on some lashes and I've just quickly done the rest of my face. I went for kind of a pinky nude lip. Um, nothing too bold or dark. I do want this tutorial and this series of tutorials to be just about this palette because I love it and I want to spend as much time as possible showing you how I actually create the eye looks. They are very easy to do and that is down to how great the palette is. I really recommend getting this palette, I literally love, 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 love it. But I really hope you like the look and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.